Hey guys, welcome to a new video by Technogar Green Card. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make a simple program in Python uh, to represent Magic 8 Ball. So Magic 8 Ball is basically kind of a toy for children which will predict your future and uh, it will help you decide what to do with a yes, no or sometimes some really unhelpful comments all right so it's it's gonna be really fun and we're gonna make a replica a software replica of the magic eight ball using python and we're just gonna use one simple extra module here the random module which you've seen me use in many of my other previous videos i will share the link in the description below in which i have explained the random module and its many functions all right so let's start and what I have done is I have given this a heading just to uh, introduce you and uh, with a comment so a hashtag will determine any text after that a comment so magic 8 ball and I just wanted to tell you guys that these 8 are um, the recommended um, inputs I mean outputs from the magic 8 ball alright so uh, the magic 8 ball is gonna give one of these 8 outputs to the user uh, according to the random choice generated by uh, the Python code. Alright, so let's start and I have imported the random module before starting on my code and I have created some introductory statement. Hi, I am a magic 8 ball. I can help you decide what you want to do. Just ask me a question and I will tell you what I think. Just to tell you guys, backslash n is a uh, thing used in Python. Just to leave a line inside uh, some text. Alright, so it leaves a line and it prints this bit. Alright, so uh, I've started by doing that. And we can create a variable. Decision, decision equals random dot random. So the random function of the random module generates a random number from uh, any range of numbers we give it. So I'm going to take 1 and 8. So I want any 1 input from 1 or 8. So any one random number from 1 and 8 uh, to be selected and yes, so it will be stored inside the decision variable. Alright, and after that, now that's done, I will say if decision equals 1. So I have just decided that if it's 1, 2, 3, then it's going to be a positive output. 4, 5, and 6 will be a um, some kind of non-committing, it's not, it's for example cannot predict now and concentrate and ask again. It's not a very useful output but it should be there in a standard magic 8 ball so I'm gonna include that also. 3 for positive, 3 for nothing and 2 for negative saying no. Alright so if the decision equals 1 so I'm gonna print without a doubt. Print without a doubt all right and I'm just gonna copy paste this for uh, decision 2 to 8 and I'll show you that and just one thing guys just make sure that um, don't repeat if again and again go for an extra el to define it as else if else if decision equals 2 like that so I'm gonna finish typing all my eight choices now. All right, guys. So I am done uh, typing all the uh, possible outputs over here. So uh, one to eight, there are different options, and uh, according to the number, the random number generated, we generate a random response. So for example, for three, we say as I see it, yes, and for six, we say concentrate and ask again. And if it's 8, we say output not so good. And for 1, we say without a doubt. For example, just like that. Alright, so that is our bunch of if, else, and else statements to uh, print whatever we want according to the random integer generated. So, uh, what we have done is uh, this till now. And after that, I will ask the user, user, I'm just gonna define a variable user users is gonna uh, be an input so uh, it's obviously gonna be a string it's gonna be a big or small question whatever it is and this is another special word input which just tells the compiler to take input from the user so I'll just put a caption here ask me your question 
All right. So now that's done, and uh, oh, all right. So that's here. All right. So uh, after this input is taken, then it is gonna print the answer here. And just to tell you guys, this might sound stupid, but the decisions, whatever the magic eight ball is gonna spit out, it's not dependent on the question. So yes, it's quite a nice story for children because it doesn't have any kind of logic in it. All right, so uh, I'll just run that and see if it works. I'll just name it Magics. I'll save it. Uh, what's wrong? Oh yes, I forgot to put double equal to marks here. Just to tell you guys, if you don't put double equal to marks here, then it will result in an error. Because single equal to marks are uh, used to define the value of a variable. Alright, we can run that again. Sorry for the silly mistake. We can run that again and see if it's good. Uh, even here. Super, it works. And my question, I know it's not going to be taken seriously so what am i supposed to do okay so uh, uh, that's the, an answer there we can run it again and check with a different question should i subscribe to this channel okay i just hope it's positive because i want you guys to subscribe <laughs> Oh no, it asks me to concentrate and ask again. I'll just ask it again. I'll ask it. Oh god. Okay, forget about it. Alright, so it's really tedious to run the program again and again to get my input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define an infinite while loop here to hold this whole thing. And it will just be run over and over again until the user closes the program. So I am going to define this um, infinite loop with true, while true. So true is a boolean value, boolean value can be a false or a true uh, value. Okay, so uh, this true is never going to change to false unless we want it to change. Alright, so uh, while true is just an infinite loop which will run this thing over and over again as long as the unknown thing is true. So it's never gonna change. So what I'm gonna do is just set up this whole bit of code and I will indent it. Uh, sorry about that, I'll select that again. And just to tell you guys, this is in the keyboard shortcut for indenting a select a bit of text. Control plus uh, the keyboard button with uh, the ending square bracket will indent everything one space forward. All right, so we are done with that and we can run that again. And before that, I just want to tell you guys, I have moved this decision variable inside the while loop because we want that to be refreshed again and again and again. And obviously, we want the question to be asked again and again. Okay. Should I subscribe to this channel? I hope that will be positive. Oh, okay. So I don't need to rerun this program again and again. Why is that I'm getting concentrated and asked again each and every time I'm asking you to subscribe to my channel? Ah, oh, come on, please give me a positive output. Come, on. yeah, finally, without a doubt. All right, so without a doubt, subscribe to my channel. And uh, this is the end of my video. And give this video a like and uh, hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates about my new videos. All right, so have a good day and goodbye. And please don't forget this. Alright, have a good day. Goodbye.